Good afternoon. Thank you so much for watching our NMMEA Honor Ensemble video. Before we begin, we would like to take a moment to share with you a little bit about how the process for creating these videos occurred. First, the health and safety of our students was our number one priority at all times. For the choir, the rehearsals were held entirely over Zoom. The band met together in small pods when possible and rehearsed everything else through Zoom. The audio you are hearing was recorded with all COVID safe practices in mind. Each student recorded his or her part individually, and then we mixed them together in the end to create a cohesive sound. Our video project was filmed over a week. Students worked in pods of four, and each of our teachers was responsible for two pods at any given time. In the videos, students are air banding and lip syncing to their completed recorded tracks. They were separated from each other by six to 10 feet and never actually got to make any noise, which if you've met any of our students, you know was really difficult. Through our district's efforts to ensure their health and safety, we are grateful to say that we were able to create this concert without any students becoming ill. Through some movie magic, we were able to pull the footage together to create this concert for your viewing today. Enjoy. Hi everyone, my name is Susie Handy and I am principal at Centennial High School in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I would like to take this time to congratulate our wonderful and amazing Bella Voce girls. This accomplishment has been years in the making. These girls outside of COVID wake up early, come to school to practice and hang out with their amazing choir teacher, Miss Fred. She has worked to unite these girls and make this something that they really wanted to accomplish. They're funny. They have so much character within all 17 girls that it is a pleasure to get to even sneak into their classroom every now and then and see these girls hard at work. Girls, congratulations on your accomplishments. Miss Fred, congratulations on your accomplishment for this amazing honor. Thank you to the NMMEA for recognizing our students and all their efforts to get to this place. 
These girls have overcome so much to get to where they're at today. I'll never forget March 13th of 2020 when Miss Fred was devastated to get the news that everything was shut down. At the time we thought it was just temporary, but here we are, still online virtual setting. These girls had to be creative on how they were gonna record their music, unite together to make the sounds just sound beautiful, and they've done it. They are a family, they have um, online game nights and they get together and watch movies together and I've been lucky to be invited to participate in some of their um, Twilight nights. Um, they're amazing. They're just beautiful girls to be around. They have embraced each other and, and hype each other up and encourage each other to do better. And I do accredit um, all of that to Miss Fredrickson, who is amazing and is able to, throughout these years, build her program to encourage girls to want to be a part of this. And I'm so excited for the opportunity they've had this year. And I look forward to all the amazing things they have yet to accomplish. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Karen Trujillo and I'm the superintendent of Las Cruces Public Schools. I would like to take this time to congratulate two amazing programs, the Centennial High School Bella Voce and the Las Cruces High School Wind Symphony for being selected as the 2021 New Mexico Music Educators Association Honor Ensembles of the Year. On behalf of Las Cruces Public Schools, I would like to thank the NMMEA for recognizing these truly great programs. They wouldn't be that way if it weren't for their directors. For Centennial Choir, we have Ms. Krista Fredrickson. For the Las Cruces High School Symphony, we have Mr. Ty Frederick and Ty McCluskey. I want to thank them along with their students, their dedicated parents, and the staff and administration of both schools for making sure that we have the commitment to strong music education. Here in Las Cruces, we understand that music education and art education are critical for our student well being and their academic success. With that, students, parents, and, and directors, I want you to know that this speaks volumes for your commitment, for your aptitude, for your ability to persevere in these times of difficulty. You have truly created something special for all of us, and I wanna thank you. So make sure that you take time to celebrate your achievement and know that we support you. Thank you. Thank you.
Good morning, New Mexico Music Educators Association and fellow lovers of the arts. My name is Michelle Ranga and I have the privilege today of speaking on behalf of Mr. Ty Frederick, Ms. Ty Michalewski, and the Las Cruces High School Band. This ensemble has worked tirelessly and diligently to create a performance that represents their best work and their skill and commitment are carried in the beautiful music that they make. Las Cruces High School has a long-standing tradition of musical excellence, and this performance is testament to their extraordinary dedication to the study of music. What makes this year different is the lengths to which they had to go to demonstrate their mastery of music. The time and energy these students devoted is a reminder to all that perfection comes through practice. Their culminating piece is a tapestry of their work woven together with patience, time, and their true love for music. Their enthusiasm for their art is exceptional and to be commended. The entire school community, staff, parents, and students join in celebrating the success of Las Cruces High School Honor Band program and its directors, Ty Frederick and Miss Mick, as she is most fondly known. Their love for music and their students is unparalleled, and it is no wonder their students thrive and soar under their direction. We would like to thank the New Mexico Educator, Music Educators Association for this amazing opportunity to showcase our students and for making this performance possible. It is truly an honor to be selected and even more of an honor to celebrate these performances with other amazing programs in the state of New Mexico. Best wishes for a successful virtual conference and a true celebration of the arts.
has definitely challenged me to evolve as an individual, both personally and professionally. Um, it's taught me a lot of different ways to look at the world. Because I, I believe that the simplest things in life are the best, are the most beautiful and the most important. So, and I think music is one of the simplest things there is. It's given me a lot of motivation to keep up my ap academics because that's the, the base to every activity. You need to have good academics to be able to participate in things. And just choir just gives me motivation to keep going. It's what I look forward to every single day. It's honestly just a purpose. Before I joined choir, I know I was, you know, I felt different than everyone else and I didn't find the place where I belonged. But once I joined choir, um, I felt like this is where I needed to be and this is where I belong. And I know for many other people it's the same way. And we just all, um, you know, we all have one thing that we all love and enjoy together and it makes us feel like we belong when in other places we have a hard time with that. So, To me, choir is a comforting space. I mean, music has always been there for me. Even when we're in a pandemic, it's something that I know I can always rely on and it will always be there. It's kind of like an outlet and like a comforting space. To me, choir is a balance. It, it helps me. I, I have a lot of academic stress, so, and, and choir just helps me to take that weight off my shoulder and it lets me create amazing music with people I love. Choir is a safe place. It's something where no matter who you are, you can come together and make something beautiful. Um, the thing I miss the most is just that feeling of being surrounded by music and everyone just breathing the same air, thinking the same thing, everyone on the same page. It's, it's unlike anything else. And that's the hardest part about being online is that you don't get that. But I, I miss hearing other people's voices. I miss um, like hearing our voices together. The thing I miss most about being at school is getting together with choir and, being, and making music because it's so much more different than over online and over Zoom because you're with people and you get to feel the experience in real life. Sometimes I don't miss rehearsing, but I miss rehearsal. Like I miss going into the choir room at, you know, seven in the morning. <laughs> walking up the stairs, closing the door, like opening the locked doors, and just knowing that, oh my God, <laughs> knowing that I'm somewhere safe and being around the people I love. Like I miss, <laughs> I think about it a lot, those last moments we had before um, going into quarantine when we were, you know, performing our like most optimistic piece. <laughs> and I was just thinking about how it was gonna be gone. Our choir's strong, no matter if we're apart, we can definitely make something beautiful together.
Hey girls, it's Jackson Rathbone here. Uh, I just got the incredible news. Your choir teacher, Miss Fred, told me that uh, you guys, you're, being, you're the state honor choir. Now that's incredible. Not only because it's a hard work that you had to put in, but also because you had to do it online. Now, we're in a weird new age, but it's up to people like you to just grit your teeth and do the work and reap the reward. So congratulations, you earned this. And uh, your teacher and I, we're real proud of you. Las Cruces, New Mexico, I love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Centennial High Honor Choir. That has, a good, that has a good ring to it, doesn't it? So say it to yourselves. Be proud of yourselves. Congratulate one another. And, uh, well, you got something really cool to be thankful for. All right, y'all. Peace.
Being in band is an outlet for me to express myself in a safe and whimsical environment. Band is also just so much more than music. It's a place where I learned a lot more about myself. I learned a lot of life skills. I learned how to push through difficult moments and to really focus on something that was challenging. Band is like a really good way to make new friends and find new opportunities and it opens your mind into what music really is and a different appreciation to each type of genre of music. Being band just for me means like just being around a bunch of people who like love performing, love making music just the way how you do and personally I just like the feeling after a performance it's just it, it it's such an enjoyment it's just like a different rush being in band means being in a family for me and uh, the people that i got to meet just even in middle school all through and like those friends that i made i kept through high school and the bonds that form when you're part of such a great group is fantastic and i wouldn't trade it, trade it for anything in the world what I miss most about the ensemble is the energy and excitement that I get from playing in a group because when everyone's connected to the music, we're all connected to each other. I really miss seeing all of my bandmates. I really miss being able to see the freshmen grow throughout the year, see everyone grow throughout the year and make so much progress in our piece. I miss being able to see pieces go from us barely being able to play them to sounding beautiful and sounding like almost professional bands. I miss being around everyone, just being around everyone who wants to make music just as, just as much as you do and just the facts we all come together and just talk about like pieces we enjoy playing. I miss the conversations. I know we're not really supposed to talk in band, but we do anyway. And uh, when we're on the field together in marching band, the, the conversations we had really just brought us closer. The most challenging thing was being able to like hear the rest of the ensemble playing, but not be able to like physically be with them. I miss just seeing them smile and laugh as we all try to figure out the music together. Well, if I'm being honest, I didn't realize it was us until someone told me. And that just shows how, you know, how much our hard work really paid off. And, you know, this entire process, how it all came together really nicely. Well, I definitely enjoyed every second of it. My favorite part would probably be the recording sessions where I got to see more people, new faces. It was just fun.
Hello, my name is Carol Britton Chambers, and I'm very excited to introduce this next piece. When Mr. Frederick asked if I would be interested in composing a brand new concert band work for the New Mexico State Honor Band Performance, I immediately said, yes, absolutely. You see, I've had a profound love for New Mexico my entire life. It is my second home, and not only do I appreciate its beauty, history, and traditions, there's also just a very deep emotional connection that I can't even explain. I so enjoyed writing this piece, and I really hope you enjoy it. Land of Enchantment. Thank you. 
Hi, Bella Voce. I'm Susan Labar, and I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to say hello and to say thank you for your work on Grace Before Sleep this year. I know it's been such a strange year not getting to be together as we normally are as choirs, um, but I hope that these words and this melody are going to be a part of your lives now um, for the rest of your lives. And I hope that you can look back on this time and just remember how grateful you are for being in your choir and for getting to sing together. And just know that it's going to be um, before we know it that things will get back to normal and we'll get to sing together again. And I just thank you so much for your work on this recording and on making this song your own. And I hope that you'll all keep singing forever. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.
Hello, my name is Joseph Flores and I'm the K-12 Fine Arts Content Specialist for Las Cruces Public Schools. It gives me great pleasure to recognize the Centennial High School Bella Voce as the 2021 NMMEA Honor Choir and the Las Cruces High School Wind Symphony as the 2021 NMMEA Honor Band. Many thanks to the executive officers of NMMEA for their hard work and determination to make this year's All-State Music Festival and In-Service Conference a reality for the students and teachers of New Mexico. The Centennial Choral Program and the Las Cruces Band Program represent respectively New Mexico's newest and oldest music programs. For Centennial Choir, this will be their first appearance as NMMEA Honor Choir. For Las Cruces Band, this will be their fourth appearance as NMMEA Honor Band. Regardless of the age of these two schools, both host premier music programs in their own right and are clearly representative of the fine music programs we have here in Las Cruces. I'm exceptionally proud of Centennial Choral Director Krista Fredrickson and Las Cruces Band Directors Ty Frederick and Ty McCleskey and the incredible students of both of their programs. I know that the journey to this Honor Concert Final Production has been long and arduous with many obstacles to overcome, but these fine students and directors have created something truly meaningful and beautiful. Their artistry is an inspiration to us all and couldn't come at a more important time. Congratulations Centennial and Las Cruces. I am so incredibly proud of you.